who did that? Back with another video, man. We down here in um in um another part of Tennessee. I'm getting my cousin a new truck. Mm-hmm. I really forgot, bro. Tripping. For the low ski, when I went from Florida to New York, this car was on a tow dolly behind it. Mm -hmm. It kissed the bump on the fender on the other side. Uh, it never came off the car dolly, never came off the back of the truck. Mm. <laughs> I don't know how the hell it stayed on the back. I think we need to go on cam this truck and stuff, you know? Like, I wouldn't even put it together yet. We can go on here and bust it. No. We ain't even gonna go there. Because if we put it together, it's gonna, ain't no point. You gonna wanna keep it like that. Just go on ahead and buy the cam and all that, time and chain, get it right. They already helped us out to us. They That's took everything off the front, so we might as well take everything out, refurbish everything, main rear seal, you know, oil, oil pan, oil pump, time of chain, cam, slap it back in. There. Oh, we do this shit. In, I just, I just I did know. my LS swap for my colors in three days. Wow. Yeah, right. you just gotta have the right equipment. Yeah. We, we order everything. We ain't gonna touch it until everything ordered. I don't mind. Mm-hmm. Then we gonna go in. That truck will be done in two days. I've been flown up and down the East Coast. Mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> state to state, basically. Yeah. Yeah. Keep us on Facebook. We'll send you a video in about a month or two. Touch up. You gonna just touch that so right there? I'm just gonna cut that out. New metal. We can go to the scrapyard and cut them pieces out and reweld them. Bundle. That ain't nothing. Scrapyard. Cut them pieces out. Reweld. Everything we got a problem with. We got that thing in the scrapyard. It's real. You can buy whole cars from the scrapyard. Title and all. The whole car, 500 bucks out of scrapping. 500? Yeah. So I can go out there and buy me a Tahoe right now for 500? Right here in the It's called Grimes Recycle. Grimes and what? Grimes Recycle. Right, Lexi. That's where he was. That's where I'm working. Bro, you sit down. I need to go out there. That's where he was. I tell you about that whole Jeep is from Fuck Scrap Yard Parts. For real? Yeah. You see the headlights on? I Look at it, y'all. This is a little Jeep ready. This one of them diehards. Little old Jeep. It got some little black leather and everything in it. <laughs> little Jeep ready, cuz. Zero. <laughs> it got a steel bumper on it. Look at the bumper pushed in. You can tell he be doing random dumb shit. It's freaked up right now because he got drunk and fucking smoked the free doing dirty. But it's yeah. loose. It's not even broke. It's not even pushed up. Yeah, it's just this right here. Look. This thing? Yo. Yeah. Just up, so you push it back down and screw it back in, wheel it or something. Tighten it, no, just tighten it back up. Look, it just popped up. Oh, yes, 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 yes. yes. So you, loosen it it down, you just loosen the bolts, pop back down, and put it back it's in. Like he painted it with some uh, house paint. Listen, they painted this probably like 13 times. Shit was pink, purple, blue, every color you can think of. 
Rainbow. <laughs> Man, he's black. You can see many letters kid put. Five all bakers, all he gotta be right there to that tree line. If you look into it, look, it's got dots everywhere. Yeah, yeah. You wanna see? I'll show you. Am I wrong? Y'all down to that tree line, man. Yeah, we're down to that. But y'all, y'all wide though. Yeah. We got all the up to here. Mm-hmm. Hey, but y'all do Everybody has trailers. That's what I'd be doing. <laughs> What's nice too is like it gets late here, but it's light. It's like you got the gas station, that's about it. You ain't even got to use gas. You walk right over there. Yep. Fucking, that's like that. You got that shit through the truck, y'all. Nothing won't die either. With that little hole. Yep. Yeah, the three wheeler over there. You got the three wheeler. Everything you see in this yard is from the script, baby. Fucking, when you bought this shit, they cut the hole out in the month right here because they had a snorkel coming out the front. Yeah, so it can go in the yeah. water. That's why I didn't have the fucking gas can. We put this shit out here like that. So it can go in the water at first. Yeah. Yeah, at first it could. There was a mud, a mud machine. The best ones are those, though. Those are the best ones. I hate these. Man, you go around curves, you're going to turn over. Yeah, yeah like, but if you you're going in here all the time, mud and shit, you're going to gonna have to. If you're going in mud, though, that's the best thing for you. Yo, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it'll float. Like, when you're from the turn, like, it'll, it'll pick up in the front. I hate three wheelers, bro. Like, yo, but yeah. you flow. If you're going across water and stuff, those things float. Oh, yeah, you flow. Leave really them big ass tires on that thing. Yeah, fuck yeah. <laughs> yeah. Goodbye, y'all. Interior decent. Decent, decent, decent. Y'all feel me? Got the roof in it. Stop playing with them. We're gonna build this truck quick. No cap. Stop playing with them. Y'all gotta see the potential in the truck and the price that he's getting it for his work putting money into. And it's a four wheel drive. You got the four four tax in the back of it. We're gonna get it right. Are we gonna rebuild this truck all the way around? You see it again, it ain't gonna look nothing. It's not a bad truck. This shit went no. everywhere. Been to Florida, New York. Oh, so y'all drove this truck? Part because the gas tank kind of fell out. Mm -hmm. I don't know how my parts they had that bigger coming to start taking shit out of it. Well, I'm gonna get back with y'all when I uh, get this truck on the, uh, on the trailer and we get back to the crib, alright? What a do, gang? Who did that? Back with another video. Hey, um, so. Y'all can see where we at. We is not at the shop no more, right? So, uh, we didn't, uh, finally got the color to the house. And if we got it to the house, that mean y'all know I drove. So, uh, that mean, you know, the colors are doing way better than what it used to be. Man, uh, yeah, I just, uh, got the colors home last night. And, uh, it drove all the way, a 25 minute drive from Ripley all the way to Brownsville and it's still, man, the car did great. Stayed below temperature and everything. And guess what happened, y'all? <laughs> Out of everything in the world, wham, a damn tie. So uh, I get almost into town and then bam, my tie end up going flat or whatever. Tried to air it up. It wasn't going. So I uh, end up had to go get the trailer and put my car in the trailer and bring it back home. But yeah, y'all see what's going on. Take y'all through this slow. I need to get a new belt. The belt is not big enough. Uh, I need to reroute it the right way. But, uh, other than that, I gotta wash all this. Take the chrome pieces off. 
Got that old roof bait. We got the interior put all the way back together. Y'all see got my last right there. I know I was riding this so we got the interior put all the way back together. We gonna have to still finish doing the console. Make that little uh, piece better. But other than that, get that trash out the back seat. Dome lights working. Come on, man. Let me get that old cut dog. It's been a long journey getting this car running and driving the right way and to feel comfortable on the inside. Y'all just don't know how great I feel uh, to have this car at home and to be able to drive it and to know that it's ready. Uh, besides some tires, I'm finna go get some more rims and get a paint job. That's my next thing. We gotta get this body all the way, all the way A1. And we gotta get us some nice rims, none cheap. Like I need some with some lips on it. If I'm gonna be tucking like I like it, I wanna have some lips on them things, man. Uh, that's about it. Oh, and the truck too. Uh, the truck got it finna come get a cam. Uh, a DOD to leave some more lifters, uh, injectors and stuff like that. We finna get this truck right too. I think everything around me gonna have some uh, a little power to it. I don't want no stock LSs around me. Not if, not if I own it. Um, so yeah, that's what we're gonna be doing. Colors ready. I gotta do a final little touch up, so like I was telling you on the last video. I just uh, got this cap sitting any type of way, but I need to go get a reservoir. I'm gonna order that, get me a new belt. And then, man, up under the hood shouldn't be open no more. Man, it's like she dirty, man. I ain't even clint up for nothing. But I'ma I'm gonna get to all that. Ooh. Yeah, and uh the update on my cousin's truck, uh, we took it to the house and stuff like that. We we're gonna end up uh, We gonna end up uh, I don't know what he's gonna do to it yet. I do wanna put a little cam and stuff like that in it. But he gotta do some undercarriage with it. It's rested a little bit from being up north. So uh we're going to uh, uh, sand the frame, frame down to see what's going on with all that. See how far did the rest go before we do anything when it comes down to the motor or whatever. We, we might just end up just taking that motor and transmission out of going with a whole different body for what he paid for the truck anyway. So, uh, we're gonna see. I'm gonna give y'all a little bit on that too, but uh, yeah, and I got a uh, OBS. Uh, a customer's OBS that I'm gonna be doing a sunroof, uh, took the wires, I think, and some other holster in the inside. I'm gonna let y'all get some uh, footage of that also, uh, just to show my work. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna uh, end this video. Go ahead, give me something to eat, man. Man, who did that? Checking out with another video. Make sure you like, share, subscribe. I'm almost there. I